I think you have to look a little bit more threatening there, Ninja Chick. Hey, hey. Hey! Hey! Okay, that's good. That's good. It seems ridiculous to me. Academy for the world? What does that mean? Got super fools. Yeah. I don't make sense in the morning and I don't have to. Dollars come later in the day. You're not in the homelessness meeting? How do you feel about that? Uh, too bad. I'd like to hear The one is coming, he will show us the way. Even, even in the depths of death, he will march onward to lead the people to where they need to be. Excuse me, everybody, he has something to say. You're supposed to save the day. By doing what? I don't know. You gotta make it up. We have to get here at six. Apparently they filled up all their seats. Like wow. We have fucking words too, you know. Maybe because it's only an hour. How much do you really It was just the side of the dirt. Yeah, you jumped into a hole. I jumped into the hole. That was my fucking grave. <laughs> yeah, I know, but maybe the lesson was look first. But you can take that. Was that Ruth? Oh, man. There's some good. That's Ruth Rose Henry. Who's Ruth Rose Henry? She's a well known activist. She, is this one that he's speaking right now? Yeah. The independent media can come into this establishment. I'm just wondering why you won't let me in. I'm not refusing. I just explained the rules for me. One more person came in with a camera. Fire marshal, seven days later. This with John? But if someone comes out for life, do you understand who this man is? He was the guy who was in jail for what they're talking about. He's the guy who has the biggest voice there is. Why, yeah. do, you, why do you let the little rule stop him from being heard at the most important? Oh no, it's cool. No, but that's just a rule. Man, the government's putting these magnetic things into the pavement, and it pulled my head down from a bike. There are large plans to the society has a strategic plan to include more and more subsidized housing for people. Okay, there are people who have children that have there's lots of resources for uh, affordable housing. Uh, me being one of them, I've started in uh, CRD for affordable housing as a single parent. 
uh, I'm still there. I pay one third of my income. You were telling me that you were paying 90% of my income is supposed to Okay, this is not fair. Because, um, the, the... So this is me. So as if you get more and more, um, as your resources increase because of your ability to earn, you merely have to just pay a larger percentage to the... And to a point where it does not be, yeah, well, to a point where it, stop? it does not become well, worth it. This isn't really that this interesting. Is, oh, no, no. Let me in. Let me in. Take him away. 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 You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under arrest for being in the library. Do I still be here long? You don't want us to fucking win. They, I'm on paper. I'm not when I've got a mic in my face. Um, what do you think about this thing? Good to see you. Yeah. Um, Are you going to recover? Uh, like, isn't it a little ironic? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people who want to do something except take the last real step and actually do something. So the concern is there. Which is good. Do you have an answer to the last step? I think that's true. Uh, I think they're trumping it. Well, prioritize doing what's right above Adam will tell you later. what's conventional. Just like 15 minutes ago. Yeah, well, yeah. essentially... Uh, the prioritize is going to carry a prioritize. Yeah, well, the, the, the courts right now, their mandate is to avoid anarchy at all costs. It's like... Uh, they'll ignore justice, obviously and blatantly, uh, if it means not letting intensity happen. A tensity. Yeah. Well, a, a ruling saying that it's unlawful to arrest people for sleeping in public access. Uh, just a general raising of awareness. Intensity went well for a while last and the last fall didn't. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing they have. The police, the only reason tensities don't work is because the police come in and instigate it to, yeah. Uh, if, if it was given a chance, well, they would see how much, you know, the protesters and hippies and street punks and the meth kids actually all fall in love with the idea of a home. And, uh, well, you have an example of working anarchy, which is dealing with each moment as it comes and... And, and it works, and that they're so adamant against a tent city and then talk so much about how much we need affordable housing when a tent city works for free, uh, just reveals the mafia nature of the city. Uh, it, it's just a, and the crown, and the crown, yeah, yeah. When I, when I follow your logic, I realize that there's a... Uh, <laughs> this is important, your perspective. Where is this going? On the web. Oh no. I've been on the web. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 allowed to, <laughs> you're allowed to allowed state to this yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm just recognizing what you're saying, and I, I have to say that I'm afraid that they're afraid that if we all went out and lived in the woods, <laughs> they'd have no control over us. Well, uh, but, you know, and I think, you know, they don't even know it themselves if that's what they're doing, but it's like the bottom, bottom here is very desirable. I mean, I ride my bike, I just came back from camping, that's what middle yeah. class people want to do too, you know. Yeah. Well, that's I've worked the... every day of my life and I've always been at home, so I can't, you know, I can't relate to what you're saying right. on the other side, personally. I could show relate from where I stand. Yeah. Well, that, that's the whole thing is, if you let one person live for free, uh, and and, and then everyone will have that option, and then suddenly you find Children worldwide no worldwide even. economic collapse because no one's paying rent anymore, yeah. and the death of capitalism, which is wonderful, and then we'll stop well, exploiting the earth. You know, focus to go to mm -hmm. Well, if it takes a thousand years, it can take a thousand years. Uh, so patience. Shots of why you have a uh, very stern face, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the.
pressure of the system. It's, it's been on Captain Sweep's shoulder and it's hitting my head well, and it's bringing me to the... the acting bit. Those the, are definitely bruises. Ah, to the ground. That <laughs> Everybody's getting injured. Who's next? You don't like injured orange people. I don't see many young people in there. I would imagine news people and questioners will be coming out here when it's all done as well. Oh yeah, and that's when the mayhaps, or maybe they'll just walk right by. No, no, no. That's when the real story is. This conversation is rigged. Everything in here is structured, the time, how many people go in, what they're going to talk about, the methodology of how the communication happens. So a real honest dialogue between the people in a consensus way will not happen. Not in this type of setup. Yeah. This conversation is rigged. Everything in here is structured, the time, how many people go in, what they're going to talk about, the methodology of how the communication happens. So a real honest dialogue between the people in a consensus way will not happen. Not in this type of setup. Yeah. I think it's rigged, like, I don't know, it's just really funny things. Freedom of speech, I don't know, like, like, they're not going to be getting anything that's, that's real or true, so it's like, it's not really freedom of speech. It's not really like a, anybody walking off the street to talk about whatever. You know what I mean? It's not allowed in. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh. He's starting his own web TV show. He's, cool. he's, an, he's an action hero. He's an his, action hero. On his first mission, he sort of got injured. On his first mission? His first training mission. Mm. Not a very so good want to edit that out? Can our action hero actually become a vulnerability? I believe there is. Is there something strong in vulnerability? I don't know. Is there any difference in quality when you're filming through well, this Somebody else is coming out. Are they away from like, the borders of the Empress? I mean, Victoria, this is a big, this is a big industry. Only a million dollars. I think it is a bit of a band-aid scam because people go to these things. It's like a prison system extension. You, uh, you, you know, it's, it's connected to the criminalization of poverty. And the poor are not criminals. They have done nothing to that is against the law. And uh, no fixed address is not a crime. But it's kind of like a crime. We're talking about homeless here. That's yeah, right. I wanted to uh, just have a uh, response to something. So I'll be quick there to finish up. I think it's more important to just leave us alone. Uh, the Downtown Detroit Business Association is awesome. You guys have programs. You're not as hardcore fascist as it may seem. Because you have a lot of programs that do help the poor. I mean, the Clean and Safe program, I just want to say that's an awesome program. And uh, that's... Well, the problem is going to get worse before it gets better. The way the real estate market is, it's going to get worse. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. We're all rich. I just want to get uh, John back to the uh, Well, there, there's a lot of stuff there. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm unaware of a, a massive police crackdown on homeless, I, I have to, so I'm not responsible for what is actually reported. And, uh, I can assure you that there was no uh, secret plan devised in the dungeons of the police building to go out and uh, uh, cost the homeless and handcuff them and carry them out of town, as was suggested. We do have to respond to complaints. People have to open up their businesses and move through on the sidewalks and sometimes, unfortunate as it may be, uh, police are the only alternative to uh, getting through that on a temporary basis. Uh, I think from uh, some aspects of this debate here, you can see the vice, the police are, are caught in in this situation. Uh, on the one hand, we have uh, strong and important advocacy about not criminalizing the homeless, and on the other hand, we have business owners and property owners screaming at us uh, to do something. So uh, I come back, try and focus a bit on what uh, got us started on this project, and that was to try and provide a temporary solution, try and help out some people, try and remove some of the most manifest problems that are occurring right now, move right now rather than bureaucratizing, and, uh, and trying to uh, work through an endless stream of administrative problems to, to deal with the issue and try and do something.
right away. And, and while I have the mic here, can I just say that um, while we all want to uh, uh, blame various levels of government, uh, I have to say that uh, no one, uh, particularly in terms of this region, does more than the city of Victoria to try and alleviate this problem. <laughs> In terms of the region, in terms of the other municipalities, in terms of the, the people, the councillors and the bureaucrats who work with us on, the, on this and other issues, people who work their guts out at City Hall trying to solve this problem. Not perfect, but before you cast blame on the City of Victoria, please take a look around the region and ask what other people are doing because this is part of their downtown too. Basically, what I'm saying is the city of Victoria is in this one on its own, and uh, I just want to commend the bureaucrats at City Hall and the councillors who are helping us. Those people are working their guts out with us trying to solve Thank you very much. Just to reinforce to I think you're wrong. Excuse me. You know what? Allow people to finish their comments, okay? Please. But you structure this conversation. I did. Everything's structured by your rules. This whole place is structured by your rules. The whole conversation is structured. Discourse here without people yelling at each other. That's what we're trying to do. Hey, it's my rule. Okay, that's my rule. Okay, thanks, Paul. I'd like to chorus what John just said. You know, the burden. This is a city hall, yes, yeah, sir. You know what, sir? If I was the security man, or if I was Paul, I'd be asking for your removal right now because you have interrupted, I would say, virtually every speaker this morning. This is a forum where every voice counts. Now, I've just jumped in here to say 45 seconds worth, and I would ask you just to wait. And if you want to speak to me later, I'll tell you I'd what. Be I'll blow to you to leave. Excuse me. Enough. Okay? We've been very patient with you, but no more interrupting. Please. Hey, I, I'm leaving, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, back to you, Ken. All I wanted to really say was the fact that a population of 350,000 dollars, 350,000 people, is being shouldered by a population of 77,000 people. John is right on the money. And it, it really uh, raises that whole question of what we talked about earlier, working more effectively. We have got to combine our services. The other pillar of our community, right side by side with our city council, city administration, is our police force. They have got the highest, probably the top three highest, workloads per capita in our country. If we could find the means of better orchestrating our political system, where we seem to have 13 fiefdoms instead of one truly vibrant and effective municipality, some of these challenges that we currently face would be addressed, and they'd be addressed effectively without these types of blow-ups. Thank you very much. Uh, now, we've got uh, a little time, but we have to go out of the room. I have to wrap. Okay, I would just like to hit home a few points that have already been addressed, but I'm not sure the people living in the middle class have exactly heard them. I'm a retired nurse and I work with the Disabled Rights Alliance. My name's Sue Allen. One of the things that I've noticed since falling through the cracks and into poverty myself because of a disability is how much closer that's put me to needing mental health services between the stress of poverty, the stress of living in crises housing all the time where everybody around you is in poverty and many of those people have cross addictions, and the poor nutrition. I thank the churches very much for what they've attempted to do to supplement people's nutrition, but the government seems to have made it their primary responsibility to feed people, and you can't feed people well with macaroni and margarine. Now, one of the things that I've seen consistently since falling into poverty is that for many people who aren't exactly living on the street, two-thirds or more of our incomes is going towards shelter. This is totally unacceptable. Now, there was a time in this province when there were such things as sliding, subs uh, 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 sliding subsidies um, that followed people wherever they w were able to find accommodation. And I think it's time we reinstated that policy again so that if a person is able to find adequate housing, their support package from whatever ministry they're getting 
support that top them up to meet what is a reasonable rent. Three hundred and twenty five dollars is pound mess as so clearly stated is absolutely inadequate housing. On the other hand, with an extra two hundred dollars of a floating subsidy, a person might be able to house themselves, maybe even out in Caldwell away from the downtown. <laughs> summary what I think we're hearing today what we need is is we need both a compassionate and sustainable solution and what the final thing we want to say is what we need now is to commit ourselves to action we've had a lot of talk we've come at this from many different angles but frankly what we need right now is to get into a room with the right people the people from the business community the people who represent both funders and service providers and the city of Florida. and let's go find the first three four or five things that are going to make a difference now today for one solution for this, one that you think would work and would work in the foreseeable future. Well, I mean, that's, it's complex, and the, but you, you've given me some parameters there. Uh, what I would like to, to do is uh, create a more uh, permanent uh, facility to house the chronic or, uh, or the immediate problem and uh, at least relieve police officers who have to interact uh, with those uh, not in the criminal way and, and, and bring another solution to it. Free up police officers to do the job they're supposed to be doing. Thank you. Ken? More housing as well as addressing those with addictions. Alan? Let's see uh, additional addictions benefits in Victoria as well as uh, link through the hospital for uh, health professionals to reach out and follow people with multiple illnesses. Well, thank you all very much. Uh, I apologize for a time constraint because clearly we could go on all afternoon. I do appreciate the comment of the lady who said a bigger venue next time. Uh, we knew almost as soon as this began that this venue was going to be just mine. It was a little more to get she was nice. I do apologize, I do apologize to people inside. It was Yeah, exactly. You know, and but we just we didn't think it was going to draw a crowd of a hundred or more. Start thinking. Uh, but we'll think about it the next time. Thank you exactly. Thank you very much. So the next time we'll get to the convention center. Uh, anyway, thank you for one all for coming today. I really appreciate your input. And this is the end of our party up to the end. We're at 9.5 I think every time we talk it helps. I think every time we talk it helps. I think we had some really good comments about the underlying issues and I just hope we get to the underlying issues. It seems that we never get the underlying issues. Uh, guaranteed annual income, one of them, and permanent housing. So subsidized permanent housing. We've been out of the housing business now for 20 years in this uh, city and we're feeling it, feeling it big time. So those are the major issues if we push as a community, especially if we all push together. What about gonna, Tent City? What about like, because it doesn't cost anything. Doesn't co it doesn't cost anything. I mean, give me your direct questions about what... Well, what do you think about Tent City, like just the whole concept of having people, uh, an area where people yeah. can... Uh, my experience in Tent City is every time that I've been involved in setting them up, and I've set up a few of them, helped set up a few of them, there's always been violence and uh, taking out the thing without any supervision at all when there's a lot of people around, so I worry about that. For a while I was letting people sleep at the open door and a guy takes a cement block and drops it on somebody's head, you know, so yeah. those issues there, I, I, I want to create safe housing not just uh, housing where uh, my family are in danger and sometimes from one another. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So your time's calling Yes, us. I am. Are you trying to find out who we are? Yeah. We're an alternative media. Are you? Doing yeah. what? We're doing web TV. Okay. Where's it going to air? The video.
GarySecretPlan.com. Well, oh, I'm being very forthright with you. Why aren't you being forthright with me? Well, oh, I'm being very forthright with you. Why aren't you being forthright with me? No, I, I'm serious. <laughs> it's called TheVerySecretPlan.com. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do you think of the meeting? Well, wait. We, we were locked outside for most of it, so it wasn't really an open forum, you know. I, I didn't really, I don't know. Didn't get there early enough? Well, because he got injured. Oh, yeah. he, he's our action hero. Oh, but he, he was in the middle of uh, doing his action stunts and he got action hurt. So when's it going to air? Um, probably within a couple days. We're doing, do you know the David Johnson uh, story? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were covering that on web TV. So we're, we're looking at creating an alternative media uh, through this incredible interface system. And we have a place called Dream Space. Have you heard of Dream Space? You have? Really? What did you hear? That it exists, you know, and what much. is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know. spreading right. Perfect. <laughs> What's your name? Are you for media is dying? <laughs> <laughs> she was a bit of a fucking bitch. Whatever. <laughs> it's okay. She needs to know that. Maybe then she'll change. Well, why is she a bitch? She seemed really fucking stuck up. She didn't really care what we had to say. Aha! Uh -huh. So she was just she was just participating in what happened. They don't want to hear what you have to say. Exactly. This is why we need alternative media. <laughs> Non-biased points of view. <laughs> Got it? So what we're doing here is we're, we're making the news, we're not watching the news. And not just making it, but directing it. So, to get certain educational ideas or issues out there in a different perspective, one that isn't normally seen in the normal media, takes a little bit more time, takes a little bit more... Uh, it just takes time. It takes time to educate yourself, so this is just one part of it. But seeing how a group of people, any group of people, can come together and create their own action heroes, create their own scenes, create whatever they want with just a simple camera, and then upload it to the computer. and then. See what happens. You could get hurt too. 